kids, it's Susan, Fitness from the Pro. If you're short on time and looking for a quick dumbbell workout, this is the one for you. Just grab one dumbbell because this first exercise is going to be multitasking like you won't believe. We're going to be working on our hamstrings, on our butt cheeks, on our abs, on our back, and our tricep with just one exercise. After this, you'll be done. Let me demonstrate for you and show you some options. Option one, always hold on to the chair if you need that for stabilization. Option two, we'll bring that uh, left toe back. You can always keep that toe on the floor. Option three, you would be hinging from the hip, slight bend in that right knee. That left arm is holding on to the, dem to the dumbbell. I like to have my arm out to the side. Pull that elbow up, keep it close to the body, just kick it back. Bend the elbow and extend that arm straight down from the shoulder. So it's up, kick back, bend, and lower. I need to keep my abdominals in for stabilization. My head, neck, and shoulders are in alignment. Let me show you on the other side. So I'm gonna stand on my left leg now. My right arm is gonna hold on to the dumbbell. Shoulders are back and down. Remember your option. You can always hold on to that chair as needed. That right toe will stay on the floor. Option three, hinge from the hip, lifting that right leg. Pull the belly button to the spine. Pull that right elbow up. Keep it close to the body and give me a tricep kick back here. Bend and extend. Pull it up, kick it back, bend and extend. Make sure you're focusing on those muscles. Kick it back, bend. Give me one more here. Pull it up, kick it back, bend and extend. Go ahead, do 12 of those exercises with good form. If you can't get, keep the good form, then drop it down to 10 or eight repetitions. So you, by the end of that, you'll definitely be feeling it in your butt cheeks. We're gonna be moving on to our shoulders now. I'm gonna use a little bit lighter dumbbells. And here again, we're talking efficiency, multitasking. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have my right arm out to the side of my body, my left arm right in front. Now, recommendation here would be to <clears throat> grab a weight that you can use for the lateral raise, okay? That is a harder move to do. So grab, if you need a lighter weight here for that arm, go ahead and do so. Pull the belly button in. I'm using the same weight. So my knees are soft, shoulders back. I'm lifting, it's a front raise with my left arm and a side raise with my right arm. You're gonna lift, exhale, inhale and lower. Nice tight abs to protect that low back. Don't lift the arms any higher than your shoulder. We'll do one more here with this move, move, and now we're gonna switch it out. My right arm is gonna be in front, my left arm out to the side. Again, my posture's nice and tall, abs are in. Slight bend in those elbows as you lift and lower. So you see that front arm is working the front of our shoulder, the side arm, is working the deltoid, the side of our shoulder. Give me one more here, up and down. There we are, being efficient with our time. Moving on after our shoulders. So we did our front of our shoulders and the sides of our shoulders. Let's take it to the ground for some chest work. I have a great exercise that I absolutely love. It's my new favorite exercise. And since chest is a bigger muscle group, you can go a little bit heavier with your, uh, with your workout. So, with your dumbbells. So what I want you to do, you're gonna take these dumbbells and you're gonna press them into each other. Really press them. And you'll feel the activation right across your chest. Well, we're gonna come down to the mat. with our weights. Now, make sure you keep that low back into the mat. Maybe let me turn on the side here. I'm pressing those dumbbells into each other and I'm pushing them up on a diagonal. 
and bringing them back down. Keep that low back into the mat. Keep pressing those weights into each other, really squeezing. You can feel that chest all across. This is a great chest exercise that not a lot of people seem to do, but it's a good one, trust me. Squeeze those weights together, push and squeeze, activate those chest muscles all across the chest. Not only does it work, it'll work the upper part of your chest as well, but you'll feel it right in here, you'll feel it all across your chest. Let me know what you think about that exercise. Moving on, we're going to be, since we're already down here, we're going to do some abdominal exercises. And this exercise is kind of fun just because it can be a good stretch too. Um, I call this the figure four crunch because my leg, my right leg is crossed over my left leg and I'm lifting both legs up. Now you may remember this as a nice stretch when you pull both of those legs back, right? This is a great stretch and feel free to do it when we're finished. Otherwise, bring your hands to your temple. Keep that low back into the mat. Now, those hands are at your temples. You can always have your hands behind your head. Just be mindful that you're not pulling on your head and your neck. Now, my knees are just above my hips. I'm gonna inhale here, pulling that belly button in. Keep that low back into the mat, inhale. As we exhale, we bring our knees and our chest together, pulling the core in. As we inhale, lower that leg, but only lower it as far that you're keeping that low back into the mat. Maybe you won't touch the floor. Exhale, once again. Chest and legs come together. Exhale. Maybe you wanna do that little bit of a reverse curl, tapping that toe. Exhale. We'll just do a couple more here. Right leg crossed over left. Keep that fist distance between your chin and chest. And you also want to keep that low back into the mat. Let's just switch legs. Inhale here and prepare, pull that belly button into the spine. As you exhale, bring those legs in and then maybe you want to tap that toe. If not, don't worry. Once again, we've got that fist distance between our chin and chest. We're looking up, keep that belly button pulled to the spine. One more here, guys. And go ahead, lower that leg. And remember, you can always reach through the little window here and pull those legs back. If you want that stretch, just keep that low back into the mat. Moving on from here, you thought I would forget the biceps, but I have not. So go ahead, grab your dumbbells. And I guess we'll use one dumbbell at a time. Again, not your traditional bicep curls. We know how to do our traditional bicep curls here, our hammer curl here. This time, we're going to have that right arm in front. We're gonna keep the palm facing our body. We're gonna bring that dumbbell toward that left shoulder and then across to the right shoulder, squeezing that bicep. And then bring it back across the left shoulder and lower. Again, this is not your traditional workout. Squeeze that bicep and bring it back down. It's always good to do something different to keep those muscles challenged and to keep them guessing. Give me one more here with that right arm. Exhaling, inhale, and lower. Good, same, same thing on the left side, that palm Faces your body, bring it toward that right shoulder, and then bring it across, squeezing your bicep, and then lower back down. That palm faces your body the entire time. Squeeze that bicep, and lower. Give me two more right here. Exhale, bringing it up, keeping that elbow tucked in, okay? And we're not doing this. The elbow stays close to the body, across, and bring it in, and then lower, and you're done with that. So, remember, I would like you to do 12 repetitions of each exercise, do two rounds or three rounds, 
and you'll definitely be, it's a quick, quick workout, getting a whole bunch of body parts in. I want to thank you for joining me today, and don't forget to subscribe to LWCA Fitness on YouTube. When you subscribe, you'll be notified every time a video is uploaded, and I'd love to hear your comments. So feel free to leave comments, and I guess I'll see you next time. Good luck with your dumbbell workout.